Kelly, e a Kelly não, volta aí, ó. Alerta no financeiro, alerta no financeiro. Ele foi na financeira, ele foi na financeira, ele foi na financeira, ele foi na financeira, ele foi Men de kan inte ta något som inte vill gå. Varför? Därför att du... Varför har ni inte lyssnat på mig? Därför att du försvårar det här. Du försvårar det här nu. Ta det försiktigt, ta det lugnt. Det kommer bli så... Jag kan inte göra något. Det är en annan grej om hon också, om barnet vill gå, men hon vill inte gå. Släpp mig. Jag vill att du sätter dig ner. Jag släpper mig, jag kan inte göra något. Nej, men då får du gå här eller här, okej? Och så får du låta dem jobba i rummet. De jobbar för att de jobbar. Vad de jobbar? Jag fattar att ni är så bra. De gör det så bra. De jobbar så bra. De jobbar så bra. De som vill det ska komma och hälsa på barn hemma. De tar mitt barn. Ska komma och hälsa på barn hemma. De tar mitt barn. Det är ett beslut som de har fattat, ja. Och det är under natten nu som de har fattat. Jag kan inte göra någonting, det släpper mig. Jag kan inte göra det. Hon kommer inte göra någonting åt barnen. Hon kommer inte slå henne eller någonting. Det är hennes barn. Låt henne krama om henne eller någonting. Du får inte lägga ner en sutt. Jag ska. Det släpper mig. Ni får prata om det här imorgon. Okej? Prata om det här imorgon. Jag kan inte kräma mig själva. Jag kan inte kräma mig. Mamma. Jag ska inte kräma mig. Mamma. Jag ska inte kräma mig. Låt henne ge en sista kram. Låt henne ge en sista kram. Varför? Ge mig mitt barn. Jag ska ge en kräm. Alltså. Tycker ni det här som kommer rätt? Alltså folk kommer att kontakta dig på grund av det här. 
alla de som ser det här, jag kommer skicka dem kommer kontakta er. Om ni får en massa skit hemma och ser det på grund av det här. Det är på grund av det här. Ja, det får inte ge mig. Mamma, låt dem, de har ingen val. Mamma, låt dem, de har ingen val. Det här är polisen. Det här är polisen vi lever med. De har ingen val. Ja, de tar ett beslut, det är ett beslut. Mamma, de måste följa deras regler. Låt dem, vi får ta om det. Det här är polisen, mamma. Det går inte igen mot dig. De är tvingade, de kan inte göra mot dig. De är tvingade, de är tvingade. Vi låter inte till Jag får inte hur du kan säga att jag tar det lugnt, tar det lugnt. Det där är hennes dotter. Hennes dotter. Det här kommer hända. Tänk om det här händer er i framtiden. Det finns något som kallas karma i framtiden. Tänk alla som ser det här. Tänk hur mycket hot ni kan få om jag skickar det här. Tänk hur mycket problem ni kan få om jag skickar det här just nu. Welcome back to my channel, Ozzy Styles. We are out. Teaches marriage relationship counseling, problems and solution in marriage, dating adverts for ladies and gentlemen who want to get into marriage. I also teach you how to take train your children. I also have food on hair tutorial in my channel. I want to use this opportunity to thank all my new subscribers. You are highly welcome. Always do not forget to press that notification button so that anytime I upload a video, you can be able to watch it. You are highly welcome to this time. Now, I want to take to a topic that says reasons why the government take your children. Or if you are in the UK or you are in Germany, or you are any part of the European countries, the reasons why the jam the the government always collects your children. I will first of all start from we ourselves. Always check your children's hygiene. Make sure they take their baths. Make sure they put on clean clothes. Especially when you have a daughter's stamina, you people that have young children, check their ears, check their eyes, check their mouths before you take them to daughters. Because the schools, the daughters, the social workers, the kindergarten, all of them work together here in any European country you are concerning children. So another thing, make sure that you take your children early to school. And if it's the time closing hour, make sure that you pick that child. Don't just take more than five minutes to pick that child. Bring the child early and take your child back from them early. Don't ever come late. If even though you are you are a working mom, if you are coming late, just call them, tell them, please, I'll be five minutes late. Inform them before you go so another thing is if they're having any activities in the school parents meeting try to attend even though you don't have time please some of them i communicate to whatsapp you can communicate through your whatsapp with the teachers or you call them inform them i cannot make this I cannot come to this meeting. Please send me your protocols so that you go through the protocols and know what is happening in your child's school. Try all your best to attend the parents' meeting. It's very, very important. Make up times. And make sure that you don't, if you are married with your husband, please don't go and start doing full-time job. It's not good. Here you are alone. Try to take part-time jobs so that you also take care of your children. How you're taking your 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 work as your priority? Take your children also as your priority here in Germany. If you are married, your husband is having full-time job. Please try take part-time job. If they are not grow up, you cannot take full-time jobs. As a mom, take 
part-time job so that you can combine the taking care of your care of your children and also working the people they also look at those things i'm telling you another thing is family disputes if you and your husband people that's married is having a family matter family disputes please not in front of your children go to your bedroom go and settle your matter because anything that happens they always ask children at the school how was your weekend if it's if they go to weekend if they come to monday they ask, how was your weekend do you go travel how was the home you know children they give back in this european country they always open their mouth to say everything please if you are having this put not in front of those kids try all you can not to have this put in front of your kids please it's very very important this is i'm telling you so the next <clears throat> point is do not leave your children if they are under seven alone in the house do not ever leave them alone in the house it's very very at risk if the neighbors find out they might call police for you and it depends the kind of neighbor that well, that's what I say. if anywhere you're looking for apartments check around the place and looking for apartment because the neighbors can put you into trouble it depends the kind of neighbor you are don't leave those kids if you are under seven make sure they're a little bit eight nine then you can be leaving them in the house alone. And if you are leaving them in the house alone, make sure you lock your kitchen so that they will not wound themselves. Those dangerous things, take them up. Please, I know that in this Europe, we are alone here. You don't have families, you don't have help. People that you are, that is asking you, maybe they, they, you are in Germany, the Germans that is asking you, let them help, render you help. Or you are in UK, you let them render you help. Or you are need to let me render you help. Be careful with those people. Some sometimes those people are the people that implicate you. They are the people that go to social workers to inform them what is happening in your house. You have to be very very careful with those social workers they send to you. Be careful what you say in front of them. Be careful even the helpers they send to you. Be careful what you tell them and eventually if they collect your children please don't say anything just go and look for lawyer for yourself follow them legally because anything you say you can implicate yourself better look for a lawyer that will help you in this issue i have a i there's one case i want to tell you people like there's one but somebody i know they the white lady was not taking care of those kids so she decided that she wanted to go and give back to the social people social workers so they called the father is a black man do you know that these people have to give this man they have look at the man he's a very responsible man they have to give this man his children do you know till now these children are still staying with this this black man they are all grown up the mother goes to visit these kids if you are a responsible mother you take care of your kids you take your children as your priority they will not take your children from you they will not take your children from you but if you are that kind of mother you leave only your kids in the house you are interested in party working you don't have time for children then be ready they will take your children from you and be careful sometimes your neighbors they always go to the neighbors ask them what is happening in your house the neighbors know they, they can also ask the kids what is happening sometimes the children also implicate you at the house in the school so be careful try to be a responsible mom and stop giving back to children you see a woman five men is having you are having five men five kids in one roof how do you come sometimes i sit down i think how do you combine that kind of thing five children from different five men how do you combine that kind of thing in one roof so you just bring that to your children this one is from this man this one is what what is shit please stop this kind of lifestyle change it 
that's why it's a topic of another day another thing is um look for part-time work as i said it don't go and take full-time work so that you can take care of your kids please it's very very important that you do all these things i said and if you're going to doctor's control shake your children very very well their nose their ears their skin and stop telling them how maybe you made this thing they did something so they did something wrong said i will beat you those kind of words stop it maybe that child goes outside we start telling the people that my mother said you will beat me if i do something wrong maybe you have not beat that child that's so what you just say with your mouth sometimes all these words can implicate us and don't ever use you you try to use slippers or or your 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 sticks to touch them or say you want to hit them stop this kind of in europe no you don't do this kind of thing here you have to prevent all these things i'm telling you if you want to discipline a child there's some ways to discipline a child without without raising hand on them you can those things they love you seize them or you move the Wi Fi. Here we have protection over children. There's law abiding it. You dare not try it. Please. You dare not if they take your kids, follow them legally. Don't implicate yourself. Look for a lawyer that will guide you through our dark seasons. They collected your child. And be careful the kind of people you bring around you. Some people, they'll be pretending as if they want to render you help. But they have something at the back of their mind. Be very, very careful the kind of people you bring around you. They can implicate you. Please, if you have any question, please write at the comment room. I'll be very, very happy to answer you. Try to be a responsible mom. Try to be a woman. They are builders and not destroyers. Don't use your own hands to destroy your own home. Build your own home. I know it is very, very stressful living in this Europe concerning the bills that we pay. But it is when your kids are small, take a part-time job. You plan with your husband if you're married. You do part-time job. Take care of your kids. If they are not grown up, you cannot take full-time jobs. But you are taking full-time jobs, your husband taking full-time jobs. Nobody, nobody is having time for those kids. If you come back, you want to relax, you want to rest for the, and renew yourself for the next day. But if you have part-time jobs, when sometimes you have free days, you can be at home, take care of them, wash their clothes, give them their meals. If you have holidays, please plan your holidays. Take your kids to holiday. Do not come to Europe to work and die. Take plan your holiday. Take them to holiday. Those those experiences they don't forget it. It's always in their brain. Take them to holidays. Don't overwork yourself in this room. You want to build mansions in Africa? Please take a day off. Renew your strength. Renew your mindset. It is very very important. And you people that always the the. The agency will call you, say, come to this or come to, you are rushing to go and work because of money. Sometimes he's saying, no, you must not always say yes, you want to take the work. You yourself have to prioritize your own children. Make sure that you take care of those kids. They are your God's given gifts. Take care of them now that they are, they are young. So when they grow up, show them the way they should go. So when they grow, they will not depart from it. But if you combine yourself with work, with the from six days in the we have in a week six days, the whole, seven days in a week. Sorry, the whole these seven days you work, you don't you don't have three days. It's very very bad. Try at least in these seven days to have three days off, highest two days off to take care of your sick children, and your family, and your husband. 
we are having too much divorces in this generation because we are we are on to walking, 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 walking without taking care of our kids. If you go to prisons, you always see black children full deal. You ask them what are they there? Where are the parents? That means you will not take care of them when they are when they are young to chase them the way they should go, when they should take, when they grow, they will not depart from it. Let us be builders and not destroyers. God help us to build our own home. This is the home that you are you are God have already ordained this home by himself. So ask God to give you strength, wisdom and understanding to guide these children so they will not depart from that way God said that they should go. Please subscribe to my YouTube YouTube channel and please don't forget to press that notification button so anytime I upload a video you can be able to see it. May the peace of love be with you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.